This AI agent tool is genuinely one of the best things I've ever seen, and learning AI tools is literally my job. If you've ever heard of Manus AI, this is basically that, but on steroids. I'm not joking when I say I'm gonna be using this tool every day because it's just that good. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I used AI to generate an entire marketing campaign. We're talking comprehensive presentation, AI-generated images, and a full marketing strategy all in one. By staying to the end of this video, you're gonna learn how to do the exact same thing with no technical background whatsoever. All right, let's dive into it. All right, guys, so I'm inside of GenSpark and you can see this user interface here that I'm presented with. So we have our GenSpark super agent here, which kind of functions similarly to Manus, which I'm excited to break down in this video. So if I come over to the left-hand side, you can see we have multiple different tabs. We have AI slides, which basically allows you to make presentations with GenSpark using AI. We have AI sheets, which is absolutely mind-blowing. They just released this. They have Image Studio, which allows you to generate images with all of these different models here. We have GPT Image, we got Flux, we have Recraft, we have Dolly, we have Gemini Image Gen 3. So it, this is like almost like an all-in-one tool that you can use and add to your stack of AI tools that allows you to do so many things. I'm so excited to show you. You can see we also have advanced agents here. So first things first, I'm gonna come over to the super agent. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna personalize this experience. So the first thing that I noticed that was really cool with GenSpark is the fact that if I click this button down here, I could click on auto research. And what I could do is I could paste any information about myself. So let me go over to my YouTube channel, which if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Um, if you're non-techie, wanting to learn cool AI tools like this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. I'm basically just going to paste in my YouTube channel, click on auto research. All right, so what it's going to do is it's actually going to look at my YouTube channel, watch all the videos using these tools here that are like custom pre-made tools inside of GenSpark. And it's actually going to research me and give a comprehensive breakdown on who I am and really understand who I am based on the information I put out there on the internet. And it's going to personalize my experience using this agent based on all this context that it pulls from the resources that I provide, which in this case is my YouTube. As we can see, it went ahead and used these tools to actually research my YouTube channel. And now it's actually crafting a comprehensive profile. So you can see it says Brock, uh, no code builder, AI enthusiast, content creator, tech simplifier. So it's gassing me up pretty hard here, but let's see. So it's basically breaking down the fact that I try to take complex topics in the AI space and break it down for non-technical people. What sets you apart isn't just technical knowledge, it's your entrepreneurial mindset. So interesting, it's getting a sense of who I am as a person. If I click on this, click GenSpark, make it more personalized. I could personalize this however I want, but I think this looks good. So let's just click save. So now this is added to the settings in order for this to like understand who I am and tailor my responses, I guess. All right, so next up, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come to our super agent here and I'm gonna test out a couple things. I'm gonna test out the image generation using probably 4.0 image generation. So I'm uploading this little image here of a product. So this is essentially this guy wearing this shirt that says good days ahead. And what I wanna do is I wanna create marketing material based on this image. So I wanna recreate different models wearing this exact same t-shirt and I wanna see the outputs of the images it generates. Not only that though, cause that's cool. So not only that, but I'm actually going to, inside of the super agent, tell it to create for me a presentation that could kind of uh, break down this brand, different ways we want to market it and whatnot. So let me just show you exactly what I mean. All right, so here is this prompt. Using this t-shirt, create two marketing visuals with the exact same shirt. In the first, place the t-shirt on a smiling brunette woman. In the second, place it on a blonde woman wearing a black hat. And then create three other images similar, but have their own creativity added to them. So I'm using this like any other image generation as if I were in ChatGPT 4.0. But let me just go ahead and move forward and say yes, go for it. And again, it, it's actually using these different tools here. So if I click on on the tool to see exactly what it's doing, I could see that it's understanding this image. So the cool thing is I could click on these tools and see exactly what it's doing. So it actually is analyzing this image here. So the object in the image is a person wearing a white t-shirt with orange text. Interesting, so it's understanding what it is we're trying to do here. And then it's actually using the tool to generate an image. You can see this first image generated with the ChatGPT 4.0 image generation. It's spinning up another one. Let's let this do its thing and then I'll come back to this. All right, so it looks like it actually generated all these images here. So if I come down, I have about five images. Good days ahead, t-shirt marketing visuals. You can see we have a brunette woman in studio setting wearing our shirt. We have a blonde woman with a black hat. And then right here, these are the creative variations. So it's sunset beach setting, urban street style, and cozy coffee shop lifestyle. So these look great. Of course, these are using the image gen from ChatGPT 4.0, but let's do something with these images. This shows the power of GenSpark right here. So let's come here and I'm just gonna basically create a presentation, which is 
the output's actually really good. So give me one second here. All right, so here is my prompt. Now take all these images that you generated and turn this into a pitch deck presentation. I want this presentation to have the exact same feel as the branding of the t-shirt company. And the goal of the presentation is to showcase how we could best market this product, do some research on the best ways to market this product, then basically dump that into presentation to make it look very appealing. So I'm gonna run with that prompt. Let's send it over to GenSpark and let's see what it does. So first things first, it's actually going ahead and researching t-shirt marketing strategies by browsing on the internet here. So you can see all these different sources it's pulling from. This operates very similarly to Manus AI if you've used that, which is an AI agent that like basically scours the internet and does all of this research. So let's take a look. It did the research now. You could go through all these steps, breaking down what is t-shirt advertising. And it's actually now creating a presentation with 10 different slides. So if I click on this, you could see it's actually writing the code for this preview here that's actually gonna showcase a full presentation. So let's let the code run. It's gonna spin up each of these 10 slides individually and we'll go from there. All right, so look at what it's created so far. It has these, I think it's created about like seven slides or so, so far. So good days ahead. It's using the same branding that I mentioned that I wanted to use from, you know, this right here. We wanna use that same white and orange kind of good vibes branding here. And it's breaking this down. It has brand identity. So our message, our target audience, young adults, urban optimists, creative professionals, um, our brand values, spreading positivity through wearable messages, which that makes sense because this is like, you know, obviously a very positive statement here. So it's breaking down our entire marketing strategy here that I actually went ahead and crafted by doing some research on how to best market a t-shirt company. So you can see here's a product showcase. It's using these images that we generated via this super agent here and it's pulling them into here. Obviously the layout of this is not perfect. This was a one shot prompt though. I could edit this and say we want to make these images full screen or we want to fully show all the images without cutting them off. I'm sure that would be an easy fix. But guys, look at this little graph here. It's showing our audience demographic here. It's showing our shopping habits. It's showing top values. It's showing our key audience personas. Guys, this is like a full broken down, amazing looking presentation. This is the best AI image or the best AI presentation that I've personally ever seen. I've used things before in the past, like Canva trying to use this. But guys, this is crazy because it's going out and researching this and then breaking this down in a very digestible presentation. I could see so many use cases for this if you're working in a job, say you run social media marketing or you're an actual business owner and you want to create these things for your team or something. I don't know, there's so many cool use cases here, guys, with just this. So now that we saw this image generation and the presentation features, let's move on and I wanna show you the AI sheets, which is absolutely mind blowing and maybe one of the best parts of this product. All right, so one more thing I wanna showcase in this thread here using our super agent is I actually went ahead and I said using this branding for the good days ahead, create me an interactive game that we could potentially use as a lead magnet or marketing material here for our company. So not only can you generate images, not only can you create presentations, but you could also create your own applications almost as if this is like a bolt or a lovable type of web app builder that I cover so much on this channel. So let's see what this builds is hopefully going to pull from this context of this thread, understanding our marketing strategy here and actually building a game based on all of this context. Guys, this tool continues to blow my mind. Even though I played around with this a bit before creating this video, I'm continuing to be blown away at just how good this is. And guys, I'm not sponsored by GenSpark. This tool is just genuinely blowing my mind as far as the capabilities. And AI is getting pretty crazy, man. You could do so many crazy things. So, all right, take a look here. So we have this landing page, good days ahead. Create your ideal day and discover your happiness score. So I didn't give much context as far as the type of game to build, but this is an interactive like lead magnet. So I click on build your day, good days builder, how it will work. You'll be presented with five daily scenarios. So let's click on start. So looks like we have a form here and okay, it's the morning. How do you start your day? Let's just say that I hit snooze a few times. I did that today. Time for breakfast. What's your choice? I'm just going to skip it. I go straight for coffee, but you have some free time. Let's actually go ahead and uh, I'm going to read a book today and it's afternoon. How do you recharge? I'm going to, I'm going to take a short walk outside. Actually, let's do a mindful meditation and it looks like we're on question number five. So evening is here. Let's go ahead and do quality time with some loved ones. If I click on next, you could see we have a result. So here is your good day score. You have a 32 and we are, I'm a balanced realist. That's pretty funny. You maintain a practical approach to life with a few positive choices and we can actually share this directly on our socials. Let me see if that works. Okay, that does not work. But if I click on this, you could see our special offer with a discount code for our company. Guys, this was a single prompt that I gave it. It pulled the context of this whole entire thread in order to kind of uh, understand our branding and our like marketing strategy here and 
built this interactive game or lead magnet, whatever you wanna call it, all with inside of GenSpark. My mind's blown. Let's go ahead and move on to the next feature, which is the AI spreadsheet, which is another amazing tool. All right, so inside of our AI sheets section of GenSpark here, what I'm gonna do is I basically, as you can see here, I added these images of these different Yeti water bottles. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a table with my water bottle images in the first column, then use GPT to generate fitness, home and outdoor lifestyle scenes, showing people drinking from these water bottles. So I'm trying to create different marketing materials. So for example, I'm gonna have a image in each of these settings for each of these colored water bottles. So instantaneously, or I guess not instantly, because we have to wait for the response. But without me having to manually do this, I'm going to get a full entire spreadsheet with all this information, as well as these marketing images that I could go ahead if I'm a company or a brand and start posting across my social media just by giving it a single prompt and uploading these images. So as you can see on the right-hand side, it's beginning to craft this table. And I'm excited to show you the output of these because it's actually super cool. Take a look at this. So it went ahead, it's actually continuing to generate this. It's showing all the images here that are generated. It's taking quite a while because of GPT image generation takes a while. That's because of the API. It has nothing to do with GenSpark, but it's updating our uh, spreadsheet here. So you can see we have now all of these different marketing materials in these different settings. So we have this teal turquoise water bottle. It's a fitness lifestyle scene, home lifestyle, as well as an outdoor scene. Same for the purple one. We have this one, somebody like doing yoga with it. We have this image. We have this one of them in the wilderness. Guys, these are so cool. First of all, ChatGPT 4L image generation, just absolutely great. But the fact that we can use this spreadsheet and kind of leverage different features with inside of GenSpark and mash them all together is really cool. You can see we just got another output here. All right, so I'm gonna show you one other use case that I personally would use. I'm gonna use this to actually research different YouTube topics. So let me go ahead and do that now. All right, so here we go. Here's a prompt. I'm basically saying you're a YouTube analyst based on what you know about my YouTube channel from the context you have about me, which earlier on in this video, I showed you how it scraped my YouTube. It knows who I am and the type of content I make. So it has a context in order to do so. I basically said, look at top videos on GenSpark AI. Give me a comprehensive breakdown of these videos. And I also want you to help me come up with similar ideas on how I can recreate something similar on that YouTube. So I'm going to run with this. Let's give it this prompt here and let's let it do its magic and actually create this spreadsheet for me. All right. So if I'm watching this live in action, you could see that it is actually doing all this research. So it's showing this video, meet GenSpark super agent. Um, it's showing how many views it has. It's showing the content format. It's showing the key selling points. So it's showing different ways they're using GenSpark. Adaption ideas for your channel, create a series testing different AI agents on real world tasks with on-screen results I and mean, it's showing different creative twists that I can actually use. So let me go ahead. Let's let this thing run. It looks like it's still working here, but guys, this is really cool. This is literally going through, taking the transcripts of the videos, looking at the amount of views it has, the date it was posted and copying all this context over to a spreadsheet. So imagine what you could do with this. If you're like a data analyst or something and you input a lot of stuff into spreadsheets, I mean, this tool could save you so much time and make your life, your business or your job so much more efficient. And guys, this is, this is just so cool to see and action. Another thing I want to mention is if you click on this and expand it, you could actually export this. So you could export this to CSV. So now we actually have a CSV file here, if that's actually beneficial to you. All right, guys. So lastly, let's talk pricing because this is obviously something you guys are going to want to keep in mind. So comparatively to something like Manus AI, Manus AI, I think full access is around $200 per month. This right here, I'm using the plus plan, which is $25 per month or annually. It looks like it's about $200 per month is what it works out to be. But you get 10,000 credits. You get access to all of these different AI agents. This gives you full access here, basically. This is what I was just using, and I didn't run into any issues. As well as, if I come here, I have about 7,143 credits left. And for demoing this video, I actually started at 10,000 credits. So keep that in mind. I actually did quite a bit here, showcasing all this functionality, as well as I spent probably 20 minutes before creating this video. So these credits go quite a long way. So if you want to try it out for free, try it out. And if you want to try a more com comprehensive plan, try the $25 per month plan. Again, I'm not affiliated, but guys, this is a lot of value you get for, um, you know, paying $25 per month for a tool. So guys, that being said, I hope you guys got some value from this video. If you want more content about GenSpark, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you guys thought. And if you guys want more AI for non-techie styled videos like this one, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It means the world. I'll see you guys in the next video.